Hello, everybody. Johan Polecek from Quant Platform. And today I'll be talking about a topic which is pretty much getting into mainstream media right, uh, right now, nowadays, uh, whether quantum will break crypto or not. And I, who has seen this movie, uh, Don't Look Up? OK, so I, I pretty much feel like, feel like uh, DiCaprio these days, because the problem is really well known. And it seems that everybody is neglecting it because it's convenient to deny it. But uh, you shouldn't believe anyone, including me, but let's rather just look at the facts, what uh, was the truth. So on this slide, you can see the current spending globally, cumulatively, on uh, quantum computing, which is obviously these are the numbers which we are allowed to and we are permitted to see. So the actual numbers are obviously way higher. And the advancement of quantum computing research is obviously far more ahead than what we what we currently know, what we are allowed to know. And well, if you, again, if you don't believe me, then you should be asking yourself the question why the White House uh, has recently published the deadlines for migrating to post-quantum algorithms for the NSA. And the, those deadlines are quite short, like 180 days to identify the next generation algorithms. The sad truth is that every single wallet relying on elliptic curve cryptography will break. And um, the only culprit is that they must have at least one outgoing transaction, which is, well, if everyone used Bitcoin according to the specifications, that could save it, but nobody uses it that way. And all account-based models like Ethereum, they will all break altogether because that's by design. As a result of this, 99% of currently known, existing, and widely used blockchains themselves, all of them will break. And um, the thing is that if you look at IBM's roadmap, then you will see that Condor uh, quantum computer with more than 1,000 qubits uh, actually capable of executing such kind of attacks will be delivered according to IBM's promises by 2023. 20, uh, 20, uh, and again, Many people will go ahead and say that, OK, Shor's algorithm will require a lot more qubits than that to be uh, successfully executed. But Peter Shor's algorithm is actually old school. So if you look at like the Ekara hashtag attacks and the new advancements, you will see that we require now far less qubits to successfully execute such kind of, um, such kind of attacks to break current elliptic curve cryptography utilized by almost all and every single blockchain system today. Next thing, so if we know that this problem exists and it will hit us hard, which it will, then how can we mitigate it? How can we uh, come up with a solution to, to bypass this issue? And the thing is that for centralized entities like banks, governments, you name it, it will be like a flick of a switch and from tomorrow they can utilize post-quantum cryptography. But for blockchains, which are decentralized by nature, you can just make a unilateral decision that, OK, guys, from tomorrow on, we are uh, using uh, post-quantum signatures. And the problem is that every single blockchain which will try to migrate will result in a hard fork. And let's see clearly the problem timeline. So back in 2019, when uh, we started talking about this, and um, uh, made many publications. Many people were denying the problem in general, including Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum. You will find many statements of his, like uh, how quantum computing won't affect blockchains at all. And then in the meantime, obviously the realization happened. And in 2021, we, I can already show you job openings at the Ethereum Foundation looking for cryptographers for po post-quantum cryptography for the very same algorithms we are using, actually. So when the IBM quantum computer will arrive, or, well, an equally powerful one, doesn't have to be IBM, um, we will get some kind of an instruction. So this kind of instruction will be how to migrate current elliptic curve wallets to something future-proof, something quantum-resistant, which sounds reasonable. And, um, well, let's be optimistic here, right? I mean. People will go on stage just like me, Ethereum's founder Vitalik will go on stage just like me and tell that, okay, guys, the problem is approaching. Please, everyone should migrate to post-quantum signature-capable wallets. And again, let's be optimistic. 
that everyone recognizes the problem. I mean, the information will be spread out through fully. And everyone will learn how to do this actual migration to post-quantum cryptography for their own wallets. Chances are obviously, again, lower. And everybody will, will be also capable of executing this kind of migration, which, well, the probabilities are pretty low at this point. And the sad thing is that even if we make a 100% success rate among these steps that everybody learns, everybody understands, and everybody executes these steps, they will still fail. I mean, these blockchains will still fail for the very simple reason that there are so many wallets with, um, with billions of dollars locked up at the, in the accounts from the early mining days that even the legitimate users and owners don't have the access anymore to these. And, uh, well, anonymity will backfire at this point because there will be no way to tell apart a legitimate user migrating his own funds from an elliptic curve wallet to a post-quantum wallet or a malicious attacker who is just stealing someone's funds and migrating those funds into his own account. So what's the solution? Well, we are lucky enough to build a blockchain platform from ground up, which is quantum resistant from block zero. So we can utilize cross signature. Uh, we are using an elliptic curve and post signature combination cross signing algorithm. And uh, also among many other great features, you get to build in any programming language on our platform. So developers don't need to learn blockchain specific programming languages, but companies can utilize their workforce and programmers can utilize their existing knowledge to, to build applications on top of the blockchain. So if you're interested, what else we can do? We, are, uh, we welcome you at uh, booth B9. We will be here throughout all the days during the conference. Thank you very much for your attention.